Gameplay balance has been the main focus in the new August patch, with melee and ranged weapons seeing the biggest changes. We are also seeing the first change to the team deathmatch mode since its beta launch in the summer update, going from 4 teams of duos to 2 teams of trios for a 6v6 match. This will have a huge change on TDM gameplay and will have the matches becoming more strategic than the all-out chaos we've seen until now. A bunch of bug fixes were also included, with some of the most notable ones being an issue with the player's icons and banners resetting to default ones, an issue that caused the camera to stop rotating while climbing when using a controller, chances of a player's camera getting tilted after an interrupted diablery attempt, and being unable to pick up an item after the item drops from a roof. The biggest changes, however, are all in the balancing. The third Sanguine Resonance buff has been reduced from 4 hit points per second passive heal down to 3, in an attempt to leave some more space for choosing other resonances, while still keeping Sanguine as a valid choice. I can't see this making a huge difference, other than slightly decreasing the effective time to kill in fights. The third Choleric buff has been reduced from a 50% damage buff to 40%, this is a change that I have been asking for, and will prevent the annoying 2-tap potential at 200 hit points from both the Axe and the Katana. That is disgusting. <laughs> the Fire Axe damage was decreased from 80 to 70 for the same reasons, and the lifesteal on all melee damage has been reverted to the previous 50% to help keep melee a viable weapon choice. The green sniper rifle has seen a small buff to its effective damage range, as it was the only sniper not to deal full damage at the maximum render distance. This would have only affected a very small amount of fights, but it's nice to see some consistency in the hardest hitting weapon in the game. After being overly nerfed in the Enforcer shotgun meta, both shotguns have received a small buff to their damage, as the Flesh of Marble ability is no longer an issue. Both weapons go from 8 damage per pellet to 9, giving a potential 108 and 130 damage to the body and head respectively. The pump shotgun also saw a small buff to its fire rate, which brings it back to the pre-nerf values. These changes aren't huge, but it should mean that you can stop avoiding shotguns completely now. The burst rifle has seen a surprising buff to its accuracy. Both the accuracy penalty while moving and the spread increase have both been decreased for all variants. This will reward the players who can control the recoil with more predictable shots, at the cost of finding one at your nearest entity camp. The Burst Rifle was already a very powerful weapon in the right hands, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential nerf to come in the future, even if it is more damage based. The dual pistols have finally seen some love and have had a fire rate buff with a damaged nerf, to make them a lot nicer and more forgiving to use. Those of you who played in the beginning of the early access may remember the good old days, but these changes will improve the fire rate past that of the previous version, so be prepared to see a lot more people using them. The effective damage changes have only given a very small DPS buff, but make sure you try them out as they will feel a lot nicer to use. The Golden SMG has received a small nerf to the magazine size to bring it more in line with the other improvements over previous variants. You will now only have 36 bullets to burst your enemy down instead of a previous 40. The Scourge Blades have received some small tweaks to the different variations on attacks to bring them all in line at 30 damage each. This is a minor change, but it will mean that you will deal less damage while attacking during a slide, so keep this in mind. The devs will post a survey shortly after the launch of the patch to get your feedback on the new changes. These surveys are the best place to give your feedback as they are all read individually and taken into account for future updates, so make sure you get your voice heard. That about wraps up the patch notes. Make sure you check out some of my gameplay videos like my recent 30 kill TDM match to give you an idea of how these changes can affect real gameplay.